So today we're going to talk about something that a lot of people don't really want to talk about enough, and that's mental health. And more specifically, like what happens when the first person you open up to isn't a person at all? AI chatbots like Wobot and Wiser are offering something powerful. It's not a diagnosis. It's not a cure, but it's a safe starting point. So for someone struggling with anxiety or depression, the act of reaching out to anyone can sometimes feel overwhelming. So chatbots actually break that barrier. They're judgment free. They're available at 2 a.m. when your thoughts won't shut off. And, you know, they don't sigh and look at the clock. And while they are not therapists, they do use evidence based frameworks like CBT to help people manage emotions like cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, to help people in manage emotions, reframe thoughts, and feel seen, even if just a little. That little bit of scaffolding, it can be the difference between spiraling and stabilizing. But of course, there are risks, data privacy, over-reliance, the temptation to replace real human connection with something more convenient. But there is a bigger truth. Millions of people are falling through the cracks of an overstretched mental health system, and AI is not the whole solution, but it can be a bridge, a lifeline. And if we design it ethically and use it wisely, AI could become not just a listener, but a companion in the fight to feel okay.